everyone I thought I would do a different kind of video than I normally do um, I've been MIA for the past month and I was actually sick for a while but I'll tell you why I wanted to try the whole 30 I've been really unhealthy for a long time and I was addicted to sugar for let's see probably September to December I was eating two 7-Eleven donuts every morning on my way to work with a huge big gulp of Diet Dr. Pepper every morning and then I would drink another Cherry Coke Zero or something with my lunch. I was eating so much processed food it wasn't even funny and I just needed something. I, I'm very, I was very unhappy with the way that I felt, the way I looked, everything. And I bought the Kindle Whole30 book. I've heard a lot about it online, so I thought I would research it. And you basically eat real food for 30 days. You can't have anything... You can have processed food, but it can't have any added sugar in it. There are very few things. And sugar has a lot of code names, so you have to really look at the label really good. Because sugar can be called one of 50 different things. And I, on the Whole30 website, they give you a whole list that you can go to store with, and so you can see if none of those things are in it. You're not supposed to have gluten, any dairy. I thought I couldn't live a month without cheese, but it actually wasn't that hard for me. The bread thing was really hard the first 15 to 20 days, but now I don't even miss it. And I'll tell you some books that really helped me. I. And I just wanted to say that I went through a huge detox. People, I was eating a lot of sugar every day because of the whole donut thing. And I was probably, I don't even want to know how much sugar I was eating a day. And my detox was really bad. Like, it lasted two weeks. Usually people's detox take mm, a week. A couple days some people are a couple days but I was addicted it was really 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 bad I've been a lifelong sugar addict too so I'm probably still detoxing in that sense and I just wanted to share some of the books that I wouldn't have been able to get through these 20 days without if you're gonna buy any cookbook to help you with whole 30 besides the whole 30 um, second book I would get the Nom Nom Paleo Food for Humans, over 100 Nomtastic recipes, and it's by Michelle Tam and Henry Fong. And this is it right here. It has really good recipes. It has pictures on what stuff should look like. I have a lot of staples of stuff that I use in here, like weekly. I don't um, use processed mayo anymore so I go to Costco and I'll buy avocado oil and it's just avocado avocado oil uh, egg yolk a little bit of mustard lemon juice and that's how I make my mayo sorry and this has really helped there's a magic mushroom powder in here and you don't have to buy the book she does have a blog too so you can get a lot of the recipes on there and there's this magic mushroom chicken powder in here oh my god it is so good the first time i gave it to my husband like my husband isn't doing the whole 30 with me but when i make meals for him he loves all the food that i make and he wants me to keep doing this so he can eat food like this so i would highly recommend this book and i did buy the paleo perfected i haven't gotten to try this one yet but this is the test kitchen one of the test kitchen cookbooks and I'm excited to try some of these recipes I've tried one or two so far in the against all grain delectable paleo recipes to eat well and feel great and I got all these off of Amazon and the last one I got is Julie Bauer's paleo cookbook over 100 gluten-free recipes to help you shine with it and I am, these two really look good to me, so I'm excited to try. I'm gonna bake something this weekend with one of these books that should be good. But basically, I went through a lot of emotions during this. I didn't think I could do it. 
the second day I had this pounding headache. It was awful. And my whole body ached. I couldn't sleep. The one thing about this diet that is hard, like I kept waking up in the middle of the night, like really, really hot and it wasn't fun. <laughs> I would say after 20, day 23, day 24, I started feeling a lot better. I had my withdrawal symptoms were my nose kept running and I just sounded really congested and I had a cough. It is, um, if you read online, this is not just because you have a cold. If you have major sugar, if you're detoxing sugar, it will, it will do this to you. <laughs> it, sugar is a drug and I highly recommend that you watch on Netflix On Demand. Katie Couric did this episode, or not episode, this special on sugar about following a couple different kids in school and how their diet was and how processed food and sugar affected their families. It's very interesting and I highly recommend that you watch that. And as on Whole30, they, you're supposed to talk about your non-scale victories. And I did lose 13 pounds and 7 inches. I took pictures, I highly recommend that you take pictures every week because within the first two, two and a half weeks, I couldn't tell, I could tell my clothes were a little bit big, but it was a huge difference when you look at the pictures. I would take one from the front, from the side, and from the back, and it was just a huge difference. I'll post my pictures at the end of this video so you can see from beginning to finish. And I have a ton of non-scale victories. My skin is smoother and clearer. And what else? Um, sorry, I'm blanking. My clothes fit. I lost a bunch of inches. I'm not craving sugar like I used to. If I crave sugar, I will have a piece of fruit or something. I normally freeze a banana and I'll blend it up in a food processor or a blender and I'll put some walnuts on top or something like that. And I'm sleeping, like I fall asleep at 8.30 at night and I used to have to pluck my chin hairs. This is embarrassing, but I used to have a couple chin hairs like every week. I would have to pluck a bunch. But since I started this, I haven't had to do that at all. So I think it's the hormones and the food that I'm eating, that I was eating. So yeah. And I've had a ton of, oh, my eyes. My eyes, people used to ask me why my eyes were red every single day that I would go to work. But since I noticed on um, maybe a week, I think it was the next week, my eyes were actually white and my under eyes were normally really blue and purple and really dark and that has since gone away in my under eye puffiness. I used to have really big puffy eyes. I have a little bit because I'm older but my puffiness has completely gone away and my tastes have changed. When yesterday I forgot my lunch and so my husband brought back Chick-fil-A and I had nuggets and fries. That was the first time I've eaten anything not Whole30 in like 40 days. That was my first cheat in 40 days basically. And I didn't even like the nuggets. They did not taste good. The fries were just kind of uh. And when I used ketchup it was so sweet it wasn't even funny. So sugar definitely does affect our... <clears throat> taste buds and everything and they say after you finish your whole 30 you can keep going or you can try to slowly add foods back so when you know when you add your foods back what affects you and I tried cheese the first day that I could I tried cheese back and two days later I had is it I probably can still see it I was it here and right here so sadly cheese makes me break out and I know that now and I wanted to try to add back, oh, and you can't have legumes on this either, so you no know hummus or peanut butter. And I wanted to try, so I'm probably going to try to add hummus back tomorrow, because I tried cheese this week, and that was just, oh my god, I was so mad at myself. 
because this popped up immediately. I had nice clear skin for a whole month. So, but I want to continue eating this way. I actually like cooking. If this is a lot of prep and plan, so if you don't like to cook, you could do it all on the weekend so you don't have much to do during the week. But it definitely is a lot of cooking and stuff like that. And you can buy a bunch of stuff at Costco. Like I bought the organic chicken stock when I was sick the last two weeks. You can't just get, have chicken soup out of a can. I had the organic chicken stock that you should come buy at Costco. And I just grilled some chickens and then threw in some vegetables and some lemon juice and had that. And my husband actually really liked it. And what other things and Costco also sells these meatballs that are amazing I think I have the package I recommend the Coleman's organic these are the basil and roasted garlic there's no antibiotic antibiotics no added hormones and certified organic feed and this is what they look like right here and I did find compliant bacon at Walmart. It's no sugar added, no extra sodium, anything like that. And I've been liking the LaCroix, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the carbonated water, just make sure that you're either having that or the Target Simply brand. They have a carbonated water, which is really good but it's sold out most of the time because it's so good and they have a high demand for that product. And I'm amazed at my results. I wanna keep it going. I'll do a status video, maybe once a month, I'll do a re-status video of how I'm doing. And if you have any questions on the program at all, please feel free to email me or put a comment down below. And please tell me about your experience with the program. And if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Thanks, or subscribe. Bye.